Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So when you start with load balancer, first let's understand how the load balancer will work. In a real time scenario, what will happen? So to understand, <coughs> to understand this concept, let's come here and see what is the problem. First, let's see the problem and then see what is the solution for that. Let me say I have a server, a web server. Now this server is capable of handling, let me say 10 users per second. Okay, now let me say at a certain period of time, there are 50 users coming in. So as per your auto scaling, another five instances will come up. Okay, and the idea is that each server should take 10 users and distribute the load. But there is a possibility that there are two servers who got 15, 15 users and there is one server who did not get any load, zero. So obviously these servers are overutilized and this is underutilized. Tomorrow when we are descaling or we are scaling in, this server got terminated, this server got terminated, this server is still running with zero load capacity. So basically there is a non-uniform distribution of work and because of that non-uniform distribution of work, you see that the load is not getting distributed evenly. So what I will try to do now is that I will try to bring a load balancer in between so that this load balancer will decide what has to be done, which load should go where. So any traffic which is coming from internet will first hit my load balancer. Okay. Load balancer will see where and which machine is available. Okay. And then it will distribute the load. So after load balancer, I will have my auto scaling group. Auto scaling group will decide how many instances are needed. So let me say three instances are needed. So my load balancer via auto scaling group will distribute the load to three instances. Okay. So now what will happen? This guy will get 33%, 33% and 33% of the load. So my load balancer will make sure that none of the servers are getting overutilized or underutilized. Okay. And when you're going for any interview or you're going for certification, you will see that there are lots and lots of questions being asked when it comes to load balancer. So from load balancer, you will get ample amount of questions. So be ready with that. The best place to understand load balancer and to work with load balancer is this guy. So you can come down here to internet and you can come here and say, load balancer FAQ. So FAQ is nothing but the frequently asked questions. So elastic load balancer FAQ, you can come down here and you can read this documentation. Yes, this documentation is big, but remember if you are preparing for certification or anything like that, if you read this documentation, okay, almost out of 65, you will see 10 questions are coming from here. So that is that important. Okay. So this, load balancer or elastic load balancer is very important when it comes to day-to-day -day work and certification thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today